further. Listen, TYT took investment money from a guy by the name of Buddy Romer. Buddy Romer is a former Republican politician. Now, when they took that money, did they then turn around and on the show, they started supporting Republican politicians and pushing Republican policies? No, they didn't, right? Because the whole point of the deal was, hey, we're only going to make a deal if you have zero editorial control over the show. Jank would only make deals with people who would have no editorial control over the show. So that's exactly what happened with Buddy Romer. He took money from a former Republican politician, and they didn't end up backing Republicans nonstop. Now, it goes deeper than that, too, though, because he took money from Katzenberg. Did that make him change his opinions? No. I got news for you guys. If you've watched TYT for a long time, you'll know this. He's always had a lot of cringe opinions. So, for example... Before he took money from Romer or Katzenberg, Jank always referred to himself as, and I quote, a mild interventionist. <laughs> what? He has always been relatively hostile to protectionism. He says he believes more in free trade than other lefties like me and Jimmy. I don't know what Aaron's position is on, on free trade and protectionism, but I know Jimmy is more in alignment with me on that. Jank was always like, I'm more of a free trader. Jank has always been sort of openly hostile to unions. There's clips back from TYT in like 2008 where he mentioned unions and he's like, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of unions. So listen, I disagree with Jenk on all of that, but I disagreed with him on it before he took investment money and after he took investment money. And this is a guy who walked away from a million dollar MSNBC contract because he felt like they were going to muzzle him. So then would he turn around and take investment money for his company for them to muzzle him or force him to change his opinions? No, he wouldn't do it. Now, again, I want to be clear about something. This isn't me saying, you can never disagree with TYT. Of course, I have a thousand disagreements with them. Again, I literally debated Jank on Russiagate, okay? And there's a million other things I could go on and on about where I think they're wrong. But it's definitely not that they're changing opinions because they got the money. They would only take money from people who left them full editorial control and wouldn't impact the direction of the show. If you dislike the direction of the show... You could dislike it on its own merits. You could dislike it because you disagree with Jenk and Anna. It doesn't have to be because of the money thing and they're, you know, nefarious, twisting their evil mustache behind closed doors like, ha 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 I will now change direction of the show because I got the money. Listen, the only criticism I have on that front is they made a lot of bad business decisions. They made a lot of bad business decisions. I think it's gross if you take investment money and then you also turn around and do grassroots fundraising. Don't do that. Because then the people who are giving you the grassroots money, they feel like they're the ones who are funding the whole shit, and then you're also raising investment money? I just think that's gross. I think that's a bad business decision. I think the optics of taking investment money, whether it's from Romer or Katzenberg, I think the optics are terrible. You know? Um, on that alone, I would have said don't do it. Never mind the fact that they did it and they did grassroots fundraising. But what I'll tell you is this. Jimmy believes every word he says, and TYT believes every word they say.